the sideline just clears out because, you know, this brotherhood is serious. There's real love over there, so it's always fun to make a play right in front of all your, all your guys. We've got Traden Stoops in the film room today, and we're about to walk through a few of his highlights from this past season. Before we jump into film, though, I have a couple questions for you about your film watching habits in season. Do you have an estimate of how many hours of film you watch per week? We watch, you know, a lot of tape, obviously, as a staff and a team. So you're probably getting about 10 hours just alone with them. And then, you know, when the guys come up here, or when you know, the DBs go to our room and watch a little bit more. You're probably getting like an extra four or five hours on top of that, so. You guys are basically majoring in football. Yeah, the amount seriously. of time you spend studying. When you are watching film, how much attention are you paying to other positions in the secondary? Oh, it's very important to, to know what's going on. Um, Coach Keener praises it all the time that you got to know everyone's spot. And, you know, having position flexibility is, is a really good thing for your own, your own game, too, so. Paying attention to, you know, what the corners are doing, what the free safety is doing, what the boundary is doing. It all adds up so that you know what you can do, where your help is, you know, all that. I ask that because it's a segue into the first clip we're going to look at here. We're going to the Owl Mobile where not even halfway into the game, you're pushed out to play corner. What went down? Who made that call and what was going through your head when you were asked to do that? It was pretty much mostly Coach Aquinas call, um, you know, and I was prepared for it. I, I've been practicing corner like here and there. Um, I got a few reps way earlier in the season, but that's what that's what you prepare for. That's why you pay attention in in the film room so that you can, you know, come through in those type of moments. And so the play we're specifically going to look at is a pass breakup you had in the fourth quarter. Play fake. Arnold to throw under pressure. Fires deep downfield. That ball is going to be overthrown, almost intercepted by Stoops. What was going through your head, like, transition-wise of, okay, this is a new role? Pre-snap, I would say, is mostly where all the thinking is done. Um, I had to make sure that I, you know, thought of the play as a corner instead of as a nickel. Once the ball snapped, then you just go play, um, which is kind of what happened on this one. I knew, like, um, I was the deep third player, um, so I, you know, bailed. Saw the quarterback pull that and looking deep to throw it. The receiver ran a little double move, tried to get in my blind spot, but I just got to stay high because I knew I had underneath help. Quarterback threw a pretty good ball, but I was in good shape, so I was able to make the play, get the pass break up. I consider that a dropped interception. You wanted that to be a pick. You're being hard on yourself there. <laughs> but the next play we're going to look at is a pick. We're going to Utah. Time surveying, looking, looking, throws as he's hit, and it's picked off. That's <laughs> intercepted. Can you walk us through the play? We got him into a, a third and one situation, which is always good for us. You know, they had a, a young quarterback, so we were able to get some spot droppers out there, you know, try and get in the windows and clog up some free throws so he doesn't have any clean looks. He did have a little bit of time at the beginning, but because of the relentless effort of the guys up front, they, they pushed it, pushed the pocket in, so he had to make a throw quickly. I was in a, you know, I was just on quarterback's eyes. I saw him load up to throw, and the receiver ended up stopping, thinking that, you know, he might have to change durations. And I saw the ball come out, so I was able to get a beat on it. I wish I could have stayed up and ran, but, you know, I was able to, I was able to get two hands on it, securely catch before, before it hit the ground, so. Can't complain about that, and you know, that's the best part right there. <laughs> the sideline just clears out because, you know, this brotherhood is serious. There's real love over there, so it's always fun to make a play right in front of all your all your guys. Thanks so much for joining us in the film room today, Trayden. Excited to see you out there soon. Thank you. I'm excited, too.